all right what's up guys praise the lord this is the hot man a minute youtube channel how you guys doing i got a quick quick teaching tonight man this is something i've been struggling with for years and the lord has given me revelation on it i want to share that with you but first before we get into it please pray for our sister lisa from sabbath seekers she's having some health issues right now and uh, we just pray in the name of the lord jesus christ that he touch her body and her restore her health to her right now and bind and rebuke all the attack of the enemy coming against her so just come into agreement with us in prayer in jesus name amen amen so keep lisa in your prayers all right so i want to look at this teaching with you guys tonight because i'm just gonna be open and honest here I, uh you know when you walk with jesus you get deliverance and victory from one thing and then when your guard is down a whole nother thing that you thought you had deliverance and victory in begins to open up and then you stumble on that thing and it's always like it's always something you know what i mean so we need to be perfect and complete in him amen or at least picking up our cross and crucifying ourselves and, and living for him so anyways i just want to talk about this with you guys and this is the foundational verse here death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit so what do you speak in your day-to-day -day life have you ever noticed when somebody cusses a lot it like even like if you're good you spend a lot of time at work or with somebody that cusses a lot and it sort of rubs off on you have you noticed that they're speaking death all the time they're speaking negativity they're speaking uh blasphemous words and i was like man i didn't understand i i had victory in this arena of my life with the lord for a long time and then i went to work at fedex a few years ago and i was around all these people that would just cuss all day long and it sort of rubbed off on me that when I would have anger or frustration, it would manifest out through curse words. I'd be working on the car, something would break, something would, or a ministry or whatever, something would fall apart. And what do I resort to? I say a curse word, and then I have to repent, and I feel like garbage. And I'm like, Lord, how did this come back? You know. And and I've been praying on these things for a long time, and recently I've I've just been doing some fasting, and the Lord showed me this, and I want to share with you what He showed me about this, so you can apply it in your life. So in Matthew 12, 34, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees. He says, brood of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? Here's the key, guys. Look at this next uh, line right here. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So the Lord showed me that what was in my heart was not, my heart wasn't totally pure. And when trials or tribulation or bad things come, those impurities flow from your heart out of your mouth. And at that time, I, you know, I, I was having, struggling with cursing a lot. And I mean, for the most part, I've been praying for the Lord to purify my heart. And I've, and I've been fasting too. And I've been noticing a change. <laughs> that when bad things happen, I don't curse. I mean, not all the time, you know, but I'm still, I'm still an imperfect man in Jesus Christ. You know, as are we all, we need a savior. But um, God's starting to open my eyes to these things. Now check this out. He showed me this too. Proverbs um 4 23 and it says this keep your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues of life and maybe you're like all right brother matthew i get you so what do i do well it's simple king david like king david was the man dude besides jesus because jesus christ is lord but check this out king david says it beautifully right here psalm 51 verse 10 david knew these things because he had the same problem he says, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit in me. King David is crying out for God to create a new clean heart inside of him. And brothers and sisters, this teaching today is for you to reflect on your heart, okay? Ask the Lord to clean and purify and sanctify your heart. And don't be judging other people if they stumble in this area, okay? Because we got to judge our own walk first. Jesus said, take the plank out your own eye before you tell somebody about the speck, right? And I've fallen short of this, and I had to repent. And you know what? We all we all need to be uh, keeping our walks in check and taking everything steadfast before the Lord and getting our own hearts purified, sanctified, and ready because it's almost time, man. Hallelujah. I love you guys. If you need anything, email us. And may the Lord Jesus bless you. Bye-bye.